All right, Sam, you're the best mind I've got. You've got to do something. If Donald Trump does not do CNBC's debate, we're going to take a huge hit in the ratings, and we cannot afford that right now. We need a plan B. What can we do if Donald does not do the debate? Show a rerun of Shark Tank in a split screen. <laughs> I like it. But no, 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 we cannot use Shark Tank to solve all our problems. Just because Shark Tank is a great show and every human being on Earth loves Shark Tank, especially with Ashton Kutcher as a new host. Oh my God, but no, 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 we have to do more than Shark Tank. I think I have this solution. <laughs> oh, Professor Otto, I thought you were still locked up after your baldness cure drove Jim Kramer mad. <laughs> oh, no, I've been waiting in my labs this whole time, ready to unveil my new creation. Double Shark Tank? <laughs> it's, it's not Shark Tank, okay? Let's see. Let that go, okay? I'd like to see this. I would like to introduce you to Robo Trump. <laughs> Hello, I am Donald Trump. <laughs> yes, an invention, just like Shark Tank. This isn't Shark Tank. Rosie O'Donnell is a fat pig face. <laughs> oh my god. That is, that is outrageous. Every, just like Trump, I love it. Every Mexican has killed an American baby. Oh. <laughs> That's terrific. Yes, but what is the cost per unit? <laughs> yes. You are a loser. Oh my god, he responds to people. Can he debate? Uh, something you might ask that question. Mr. Graham! Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, it's me, Lindsey Graham. <laughs> I'm here to debate. So, wait, where are all the cameras? No, this is just <laughs> practice. Wait, so no one's gonna see this? How is that any different than it usually is for you? <laughs> now go ahead and ask him a debate question. Uh, okay, why should we invest in your products? Do not ask a short <laughs> question! Knock it off! Mr. Graham, how do you feel about Iran? Uh, well, I'm glad you asked me that question. <laughs> uh, of all the Iranians I ever knew, I met in pool halls and they were cheaters. So you know what? I don't like them. Uh, this is one of my fans. Oh, uh, what? A moron. You are a moron. Oh my god. You. He is so quick. Moron. Hey, I love hey, it. Hey, that hurt my feelings. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> this graham cracker is out. <laughs> feelings are for poor people and immigrants. I have not had a feeling since 1982. Oh, Professor Otto, you have really outdone yourself here. I mean, my God, I think that you have actually solved the CNBC rating problem. Yes, $100,000. No! Do not! Do not do it again! Do you understand? I'm going to kill you. I think I can sleep better tonight, knowing that we've got Robo Trump at our door. <laughs> Uh, not so fast, network stooge. Oh my, what is that beautiful creature that just walked in here? <laughs> it's me, Metalhead, the real Donald Trump. Wow, Donald Trump. Smells like trash in here. <laughs> trash and cash. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I like the cut of this guy's jib. <laughs> And I like the way that you smell like wet cash and stale cologne. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make a decision. Normally, my decisions have absolutely no thought, but are always 100% right. <laughs> Robo Trump is going to be my vice presidential candidate. Hey, I am 5% of that. All right. Shut up! I'm very happy to hear that. Now, if, if you do make him your vice president, will you agree to, to do the CNBC debate? Sure. But right now, I've got to go back to my solid gold campaign headquarters with Robo Trump. And guess what? We're going to construct some platinum bunk beds that we can sleep in in the White House. And they are, are going, going to, to be Huge! I love it. It's great. Follow me. It's gonna be huge. It's going to be huge. It's gonna be huge. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge.
definitely not going to invest in that. <laughs>